on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Ali LaForce. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. And it's Shangoon in at the center position. And for the Mavericks, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Jones in at the small forward position. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. <laughs> but this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? So Dallas will get the first possession. Washington passes to Doncic. Gafford with the ball. Pass to Jones. Now Washington. Let's it go. Just five on the clock. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Green. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Brooks against Jones. Outside Irving. Back to Jones. Out to the right wing. Here's Gafford. Buries it down low. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Pass to Shangun. And Gafford with the block. minute and a half of basketball play here in this one and the bucket is good that is Kyrie Irving in a nutshell you want to give him the mid-range he'll take it the consummate three level score Grant your first year in the league 1995 the Houston Rockets were NBA champs oh B.A. I mean Hakeem the dream made facing that team a nightmare he was everywhere defensively long and quick on his feet that 95 Houston team was incredible Doncic Rebound by Van Vliet. For Houston, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Here's Smith. The shot, no good. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Doncic outside. Pass to Gafford. Here's Jones. Doncic outside. The Mavericks rebound. Gafford. And he makes it. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Now Smith. He's guarded by Washington. Shoots a fadeaway. And there's Smith. That one's good. On the assist from Van Vliet. I mean, look, he was one of the best jump shooters in the nation in college. I expect Smith will be one of the best in the NBA, too. Jones finds Gafford. And here's Washington. It's rebounded by Shangun. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Here's Smith. And Gafford with the block. Irving, that's good. Irving's gotten his second bucket. It's one of the best things about playing with Luka Doncic. He creates a lot of open looks. Timeout called. Houston. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now.
And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Holiday passes to Adams. With the fadeaway. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Hardaway. No good on his first attempt of the game. The Rockets have gone only two of six from the field. Well, Grant, Amin Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the lead. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. That one falls for Tate. Well, Doris, despite some big moves, the Mavericks fell short of most people's expectations in 2023. Very tough end to their finish, especially in light of the talent they have. It just goes to show you, even the best pieces need time to gel together. Now the Dallas Mavs have some decisions. Now here's Holiday. Thompson outside. Over Hardaway, makes good on the step-back jumper. The defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step-back. The Mavericks leading. Pass to Lively. Here's Exum. 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Gafford. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Gafford's got six. Well, Exum's size and speed make him a tough cover, and especially in these pick and rolls as a passer. Thompson passes to Holiday. From deep. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Mavericks ahead, up by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for Houston. They trail by three, so the Houston five right now. Green and Brooks on the perimeter. Smith plays the four with Shingun at the five. And it's Van Vliet in at the one spot. Now here's Doncic, still without a bucket. Green against Brooks. Tries again. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Van Vliet on the wing. Back to Brooks. Pass to Smith. Now here's Brooks. Driving to the basket. And he lays it up and in. And there are so many big men that can bring the ball up now, Doors. It's changed how teams get into their offenses. Well, B.A., what coaches will tell you is they are getting to a place where you have to have five guys who can hurt you offensively. The bigs being able to take a rebound and get it up quickly in transition does one huge thing. That creates mismatches, something teams always are on the lookout for. That free throw misses. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons. 
and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. He hits the second from the line. What you love about Luka Doncic is he's this unique combination of size and skill. He could really play cross positionally. He makes shots at all three levels so dangerous. Here's Shangun. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. misses. Washington's checked in for Powell. And he ends up missing both free throws. Dallas shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, absolutely an offensive focal point is Luka Doncic, a high usage rate. But he said, quote, it's basketball. This is my work. It's amazing. Every night I step on the court, it's fun for me. Brian, he loves it so much. He said in the past, quote, I couldn't live without this game. Back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. And that one's good. Van Vliet's got his first points in this one. This guy is competitively tough and will not back away from physical defense. Go ahead, Fred Van Vliet. You know, when it comes to Fred Van Vliet, he's clearly someone not afraid of the moment, boys. B.A., he relishes the opportunity to make big shots in the clutch, and the guy has got this steady temperament that allows his teammates to trust him. Here's Green, following the score by Dallas. Shots blocked! And they're pushing it up! Here's Doncic. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. The Rockets have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. They get it back. The kick out to Van Vliet. Three-pointer, no good. Van Vliet's gone. One for three from the field here. Here's Washington. That shot off the mark. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Brooks outside. And lead on the wing. He's guarded by Irving. Five to shoot. Brooks from outside. Counted from distance. Brooks has got five points in the quarter. And you gotta at least honor Brooks' three-point shot if you're the defense. I mean, he is more than capable of connecting. Doncic finds Green. Kleba with it. Washington outside. A little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Top of the key jumper, no good. To the middle. Here's Brooks. Here's Shangun. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. drops he ties it up so it's both teams making substitutions here and that one drops so now they lead by one 
And for Dallas, they're shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Lively passes to Exum. Soft touch off the glass. Dante Exum, outstanding, absorbing the contact, just bullies his way with the defense. Into the lane. Here's Whitmore. Mavericks with the rebound. Washington left side. And Washington powers it through. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Now here's Holiday. Still no points. Pass to Shangun. Releases. And another miss by Houston. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. And he lobs it up to the rim. Hammers the lob through. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Thompson with it. He squares up and sinks it. Thompson's got his second basket of the game. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Mavericks on top, up three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their pace, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. And Shaq, how would you think the Rockets were playing? They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys were going to sleep. Anyway... They've allowed over 50% shooting. Gave up way too many open looks. I'm sure they're here to end the locker room. Maybe they'll come out angry. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford, and it's Jones in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And give Brooks credit. I mean, the defense put up a stiff challenge, and in the end, he gets the better of the matchup with great offense. Now here's Doncic. Washington outside. No good on the three. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Up top, Shangun. Smith passes to Green. It's Shangun, high post. And Gafford with the block. And he gets it back. Green's feeling it at the arc. You love the confidence Green has. He wastes no time going up with the shot. Doncic passes to Jones. Now Washington. Fires the three. On target from range. Washington's got seven points in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Left side, Jones. Pass to Gafford. 
Van Vliet against Doncic. Launches it. Another three for Dallas. We know this is one aspect that Luka consistently goes to. It's either in the paint or from deep. You've got to guard the long ball. Now here's Brooks. He's got seven. Stolen by Gafford. Pass to Washington. Good work defensively by Brooks. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Mavericks are hoping they have what it takes to bring home the Larry O'Brien trophy. And Luka Doncic said, quote, that's everything. I want to win the championship here. It's our goal every season. It's a lot of work, and there are so many great teams in the league. Anybody can beat you at this point. You have to really be ready. EA? Good stuff there, Allie. Thank you. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. Two-point game. And again, it's Houston. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Yeah, Coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Steven Adams checked in for Shangun. Eason comes in for Smith. Tate's checked in for Brooks. And it's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. Here's Lively. Pass to Powell. Here's Lively. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Holiday's checked in for Green. Tate. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. Shooting two. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. So Tate nails both of them. Dallas has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Powell. Back to Hardaway. A minute 39 left in the third. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more.
And the free throw, no good. You see, to me, guys, for Tim Hardaway Jr., there's still another level for him to reach. He has proven that he can be a big-time scorer. To me, now, it's about consistency and doing it night after night after night. Now here's Easton. It doesn't go for him. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Back to Hardaway. 103 left in the third. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Holiday taking his time here. Pass to Easton. It's Easton with the jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. The Mavericks making a switch here. Klebus checked in. Throw good. Green. And so it's Houston with it. They trail by one. And here's Van Vliet. Shoots from 12. And there's Green on the assist by Van Vliet. Neither team has been able to assert its dominance over the other. Yeah, the struggle is real tonight. Seven lead changes and still in the third quarter. Now here's Hardaway. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. No good that time. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. The Rockets on top. They lead by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So the Rockets five now. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Dylan Brooks is out there with Whitmore. And it's Smith in at the five, roaming the paint. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Here's Whitmore. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. And he drops the first. Now for P.J. Washington, it's important he continue to establish himself as a floor spacer. This guy can really make threes. Shangun checked in for the Rockets. And so he hits both. The Rockets trail. 
Brooks left side. Gafford grabs the miss. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. The putback. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Houston shooting 40% so far in this one. Green against Irving. Brooks outside. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Rockets lead by one. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And the Mavericks making a change here. Jones has checked in. Van Vliet misses. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Here's Doncic. Luka! Get off me! Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. For Houston, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Brooks drives in. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. They retain possession. A nice shot by Smith. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Washington. Now Irving. Doncic with it. From outside the arc. The Luka three. Money. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Now a timeout called by Houston. He's checked in for the Mavericks. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened to Ime Yudoka's huddle. He emphasized staying sharp the rest of the way, saying turnovers will kill us. We can close this gap if we take care of the ball. Don't try and overdo it. Let's send it back to you guys, Brian. As always, Allie, we thank you. And this team is counting on Brooks in big-time moments. And guess what? Dylan delivers. Pass to Powell. Shoots over Shingun. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Houston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Green. Mavericks with the rebound. Now here's Irving. Over Green. Irving, no good. I like the idea. We know we can make that shot, but the defense wasn't happening. Back to Smith. On the wing, Green. And there's the call on Jalen Green. That's his first foul. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. Gafford, he's checked in for Powell. Dallas has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Doncic against Van Vliet. Pass to Irving. And here's Washington. Six to shoot. Brooks with the rebound. Brooks has got four rebounds now. Here's Green. Cool. Green wanted those two. Absolutely fearless. Green takes the big shot like it's any other bucket. Top of the key. 
A nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 10 points here in the second half. Doncic relishes the opportunity to deliver in big moments. And my goodness, embrace the spotlight, young man. Now here's Smith. Van Vliet on the wing, guarded by Doncic. Van Vliet misses. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Dallas. Doncic passes to Washington. Shoots. Counted! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Timeout call. Houston. They're behind by one. 29 seconds left in the final quarter. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Twenty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Van Vliet, and denied! He sends it right off the glass. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Twenty seconds left to play in the fourth. It's stolen by Doncic. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, you, know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. And they go to the intentional foul. Oh, the first one drops, and that'll put him up too. Kyrie's history is that of being a big shot maker. Free throw line opportunity right here with the game in the balance. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. No, it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three-point push, and what poise. Three-pointer Van Vliet. And he drills the triple! An enormous three-pointer! Timeout on the floor. Mavericks.
Doncic feeling it out a bit. Oh, it goes! He got it off in time! Oh, just in the nick of time. Half for basket! Unbelievable shot. I have no idea how he gets that to fall. And so the big win by Dallas in a tight game. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Luca, a nail-biter finish. What was it like hitting those big shots down the stretch? That was just amazing, you know. I felt, I felt pressure on that one, you know, because of that, 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 was, that was just amazing. My skin was going, I don't, say, I don't know how to say in English. I mean, the skin goes like this. It was just amazing. Well, for so young in his career, this guy does pretty well under pressure. Back to you. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.